since his assumption of office, Dr. Okezie Victor Ikpe Azu has established himself as a pivot for the actualization of a just and prosperous Abia. His devotion to the establishment of an egalitarian society based on equity and fairness and commitment to purposeful, progressive leadership no doubt stands him out as the father of Abia Renaissance. Despite political vicissitudes and initial attempts to distract him through the courts, Dr. Okezie Victor Ikpeazu has been undaunted, unshaken, and absolutely focused. He has never wavered in the cause of the divine mandate God ordained him for, which is to give his utmost to steer the sheep of the Abia enterprise away from the precipice. He is a political leader whose humility, accessibility, versatility and productivity has defied all negative permutations. His unique grasp of developmental dynamics as well as people-oriented disposition is an inestimable asset in the movement of Abia Renewal. His exemplary life, astuteness and impeccable character, determination, hard work and a good sense of history confirms that he is, indeed, a man destined for greatness. Governor Okezie Victor Ikpe Azu is acknowledged as a friend of everybody in distress. His extraordinary compassion and genuine love for the suffering masses has elevated the humanitarian work beyond the mere offering of material succor. It is therefore not surprising that Governor Ikbe Azu's sterling performance earned him many accolades and awards from reputable institutions, media houses, and independent organizations, home and abroad, some of which includes Vanguard Governor of the Year Award, Business Day Good Governance Award as Most Improved State in Education and Promotion of SME Development, Daily Times Award for Best Performance, MSME National Merit Awards, DA AIT Communication Award of Excellence, Award of Excellence by Abia Indigens in Diaspora, the Nigeria Professional League Sports Secretaries Award, amongst others. The governor has done exceptionally well, and um, that is why this independent organization is giving him this award. This is not an award by the PDP. It's not an award by the Mkuhangwa people. It's not an award of any local government. It's an independent award by a newspaper that has a first-rate publisher. You know, so we're all grateful to God. Moving forward, while congratulating the great and wonderful people of Abia on the attainment of this amazing milestone of his anniversary, Dr. Okezie Victor Ikbeazu, who has successfully piloted the affairs of the state in the last six years, have this message of hope. I want to start by saying that um, six years down the line, um, we have spent time effort and rigor to see how best we can deploy the resources available to us as Ndabia for the overall development, not only of our state, but uh, the economy of this region and indeed Nigeria. And we think that going forward, Abia will continue to rely on the ability and capacities of our people as the best traders as uh, the best hands in terms of small and medium scale enterprises. Um, we have done quite a lot to dredge up and create a platform that will enable every Abian to participate um, in the development and governance of this state and to be part of the growth of our dear state going forward. We want to continue to ask that we leverage on our ability to uh, trade and our ability to participate in small and light manufacturing. We believe that Abia State will continue to play a leading role as the hope of this country when it comes to playing um, in the African 
trade, free trade agreement. I also believe that Abia State has a role to play when it comes to promotion of trade and commerce within the 21st century. We are going to continue to work hard to educate our people such that they will be the best farmers we can think of. Abia has the, one of the smallest land areas in Nigeria, but we think that God has prepared us to go into value addition of agricultural products. And in doing so, we must be prepared to educate ourselves, to participate in modern day uh, agricultural practices. Uh, we also have to trade our train our people and educate our people to be strong when it comes to digital economy. We must be able to participate in e-commerce. We must be able to also uh, imbibe new ways of manufacturing the things we are known for, especially when it comes to leather, bags, when it comes to shoes, when it comes to garments. We must be able to uh, deploy science and technology so that we can uh, produce more at the cheapest rate available uh, with top quality. Uh, on this note, I want to say that um, Abia State will continue to remain relevant, not only in the economy within the Southeast, but in Nigeria and indeed Africa. We are prepared to compete with China. We are prepared to compete with uh, the big economies of this world because we have the people. And our greatest asset will remain the people of Abia State. Let Ndi Abia and residents sustain their support for and cooperation with Governor Okezie Ikbeazu, whose giant strides so far are indicative of his resolve and commitment to leave enduring footprints for all Abians and posterity.